Okay, welcome everyone. As we thank Rich Leonard for doing such a great job. You know, Rich, everybody was hoping, did he have to come back now? He could have had a quick Mishnah Yomis with Rich. I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, and, well, of course, Gedalia. Gedalia, we could always rely on you, Gedalia. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so we are holding in the seventh parak of... Uh, Above Matsya, as we come to the end of the seventh parak, uh, and we are holding by um, Mishnah Yudin Yud Aleph, correct? <laughs> Rich? Okay. So, so we are. Also, I want to remind everybody that through the great kindness of Chaim Rosen, who has cultivated uh, our uh, our shul and favor? Uh, we have uh, dirt cheap hashanas here. Hashanas are at four dollars. Nobody's making money on it. Nobody is making any money on it. It's available, and he he got a hundred of them. So you know, like Michal Avram said, you could buy it and do it in each hand if you feel you need extra help. You know, so you could. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, he has special orders of if you have a Mizbeach and you want to put it around the Mizbeach, he has extra long Hishanis. Um I imagine that you could break up some and buy Aravas for your, for your uh, Lulav. If I, I guess we have a few extra that we could break up some for that. Um, okay, so we are sponsored by the Fisher family, Lilinishmas Basi Bas Rabbit, Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain, also Lilinishmas David Ben Chaim for the Schuss of Elyon Moshe Ben Chayesara, and the Schuss of Avram Ben Yom Benish Ben Malki Hudas by Meir Ben Chayesara, and sponsored by Yoel Klugman and family for the Gizun Parnasa and Nachas. So the Mishnah tells us again, clarifying what would be considered an Aynas, that if it's an Aynas, uh, then a Shemer Socher and a uh, Socher is Potter, and of course a Shemer Chinam. Mesa Kedarka, if it dies in a natural death, how is it? That's an Aynas. Sigfa Vamesa, but if the owner beat it, in other words, if the shepherd beat it, you know, was angry at it, that it wasn't doing what it was supposed to, so he lashed at it and it died, that's an Aynas. That's, of course, negligence, which even a Shemer Chinam would be Chayef. Also, the Rosh Tsukin, if the animal escaped on its own without any negligence and went to a cliff, Venofla Harize Oynas. Hello, the Rosh Tsukin, if the shepherd brought it up to an area where there was cliffs, which he shouldn't have done, Venofla Vamesa, and it fell and it died, that's an Oynas, that's not an Oynas. Masne Shaymer Chinam Liyais Potter Ua. Now, here we have an exception. We'll see in the next Mishnah. That you can't be masnal mashikasa If you make a tanai against what is written in the Torah, tanai bottle, The condition is uh, negated. It's uh, uh, it, it it's doesn't it's not chal. However, there is an opinion, which is the opinion of the author of this Mishnah, that by mamon you could be masnal mashikasa b'tayra. So therefore, according to this opinion, a person could stipulate when marrying a woman on the condition that he doesn't have to support her. Because he could he could stipulate and make that stipulation, because uh, it's uh, uh, even though it's against what it says in the Torah, but you could be masna on, or if she has to agree to it, of course, she could say, you know what, uh, find find yourself a different shit. Uh, but but anyway, uh, th- therefore our town of our Mishnah holds masna sheimachinam liyos patemishvu. A Shemichinim could stipulate, listen, I'll watch it, but if something happens, I don't want to have to swear that I wasn't negligent. And a borrower could stipulate that he is potter if there would be an Inus. And they could stipulate that they don't want to have to swear and and they could stipulate that if it gets lost and stolen, they don't want to pay. Now, the Mishnah tells us, in general, if you stipulate against what it says in the Torah, your stipulation is batal. So if a, a man is Makadish a woman and says that he doesn't want to give her uh, owner, 
He doesn't want to give her intimacy. So the tenai is bottle. The condition is uh, bottle. The kol tenai sheyesh ma'isa b'tchilosai tenai bottle. If he says the ma'isa first, he says, uh, I'll give you a gift if you uh, do me this favor. So that Tana, that Tanai is bottled because it's not similar to the Tanai B'nai God or B'nai Ruvain, the Chatzi Shevet Menasha, where that's where we learn out, according to Ramea, the laws of conditions, where you have to have first the condition. If you go and fight, then you will have the land on the Transjordan. So you have to have the Tanai before the Maisa. If the, uh, 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 if the Maisa is first, I'll give you the gift. If you do this, then to know a bottle. The condition is negated. If the condition is possible to be fulfilled, and he does it right, making the condition first, then to know a kaim. But if he says that if you're going to fly to the sky, it'll be a get, that tnai is negated because that's something that can't be fulfilled. It has to be a condition that's able to be fulfilled. Uh, again, let me remind you about what the schedule is. Tonight we'll have the daf, a double daf at 8 o'clock. Uh, for the Shabbos table, Bereshis will be approximately at 10 after 8. You could come to zoomdaf.com also if you want to hear that. Huh? 10 after 9, correct? Somebody is listening. Uh, and well, actually, it's going to be a, a, a quadruple header because we're going to do two blot. We're going to do the, for the Shabbos Bereshis table, and we're probably going to do another Mishnah Yomis uh, because we have to get ahead with Mishnah Yomis. Also, um, uh, 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 tomorrow Shachris at eight o'clock. Remember the Aravas. Remember that today is a great day for tefillah. Remember that already in Mariv. And also remember that today is also a special day for tzedakah. Those that have pledges to the shul uh, can give them. Those that want to still uh, participate in the adopt the koil, we could still use uh, people to uh, be part of it. They did get already from us uh, $1,371 for the first a uh, 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 month, which will made a very big difference for them, although it doesn't sound like such a big amount of money, but converted into shkalim and living on Beitar uh, standards, it is it is it is something. We could be very proud of that. 